I'm just thankful that me and my sister weren't hurt and that nobody was in the building. Up first, a 12 News exclusive. The owner of the Boom Boom Room is lucky to be alive after a driver speeds toward her before slamming into her lounge. Now she is left to pick up the shattered pieces of her business. She's also looking at losing business for days on end. This is right after the pandemic. Meanwhile, the driver is still on the run. Team 12's Nyella Charles joins us with her terrifying story, Nyella. Caribe Mark, it's really a miracle this didn't end up worse. The driver went straight through this brick wall and the owner of the Boom Boom Room says had this been any other night, customers would have been on the other side of this wall and someone could have been killed. Two sisters running for their lives as a car comes speeding towards them. This dumpster was flying towards us. This happening at the Boom Boom Room on 16th Street and McDowell. And when I heard the crash, I turned and looked and I saw in the intersection a mangled car. Just minutes after Rashida Worthy, the owner of the Boom Boom Room, locked up for the night. And the SUV is flying towards us. It isn't until I take a couple steps this way and look and I can see the inside of the bar. The driver plowing right through her building. There was damage to the wall. One of the sinks came off the wall. Luckily, the crash happened on Monday night when the Boom Boom Room is closed because usually customers are taking pictures here. At least you're okay. Man, it, that's, that's the main thing, and I keep reminding myself of that. The driver of the car somehow making it out too. Rashida and her sister rushed to him when they saw what happened. I was just trying to figure out if he was okay. He was well enough to walk away before police got there. I think that's a crappy thing for a human being to do. The police report says he left the Red Ford Expedition here. Rashida's now left picking up the pieces and closed for repairs. We're on day eight of being closed, so that's never a good thing because you're losing thousands of dollars each day that you're closed. Police haven't arrested anyone yet, but the repairs here at the Boom Boom Room are almost done. It'll be reopening this Friday. We're in Phoenix, Nyla Charles, 12 News.